Welcome back, you maniacs. We're getting back to our roots this week with a five minute video. This time we're gonna learn how to add chat GPT to our streams. For this one, I was actually inspired by Fluffless Edit who did a fantastic job on adding GPT integration into his stream. So I used his code as reference, totally revamped, reworked it, made it into a maniac masterpiece. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so to get things kicked off, we're gonna head to Google Chrome or whatever your preferred browser is and make our way to platform.openai.com. You'll see the link for that down in the description of this video. Once you're on this site, I'm going to assume you're either logged in or know how to create an account. Um, you can check by the lower left corner here and click to make sure you're signed in. And if not, follow the steps to create an account. Once signed in, we're gonna click on the settings little gear icon here and go to billing. If you have zero dollars here and no promotional credits, you need to add credit to your balance. Obviously, pick a dollar amount, put in a card, click continue, follow those prompts. I will say that in the several hours I was building and testing this and the hundreds of API calls I made, I used two cents. So it's really cost effective and really cheap entertainment to add to your stream. Once you have some sort of credit balance added here, you're gonna go up to API keys. We're gonna create a new secret key. Full disclaimer, this only shows the key one time. So after we make this key, we copy it. If we close out this window, we can't get this key again. So we'll have to delete it and make a new one, which isn't hard, but you only get one shot for this. One opportunity to seize everything you ever want. Just saying. I'm gonna put SB test. You name it whatever you want to, because this is irrelevant. And here is our one-time pop-up. I'm gonna copy it and go ahead and put it in my Word documents here and press done, we're done, life is good. That is all that we need to do on the OpenAI website. From here, we're gonna to head to StreamerBot. All right, so next up, we're gonna pull up our StreamerBot, press the import button. I'm going to assume you've already downloaded the import code from Ko-Fi. So drag that code right into the import string box. You'll see three actions and two commands. Press import, it's gonna let us know that those commands are disabled by default. As always, just press okay. First thing we're going to want to do is click on the chat GPT setup. This is where we're going to paste that really important API key. I warned you like three times that you needed to copy down somewhere. The next block is the behavior. So this is how you can give your bot some personality. You want your bot to be a pirate. You want them to emphasize the fact they really love dogs. Maybe you want them to be a British journalist who chain smokes. I don't know. Get creative. This is where you give them the personality. The next argument is going to be the GPT model. If you don't know what the hell this is, leave it at 3.5. If you care, it accepts either 4 or 4T as input, and that'll go to model 4 or model 4 turbo um, and make the appropriate calls to those models. The next argument here is your chatbot name. It's pretty self-explanatory, but what this is doing is adding our chatbot to the exclude response list, meaning that it's not gonna to reply to itself and then cause an infinite loop because it sucks, ask me how I know. And then the last argument down here is the probability of reply. That means from zero to 100, zero being your bot's never gonna randomly reply to messages, 100 meaning it's gonna to reply to every message that comes through your chats. Um, 15's a pretty good number. Just play with it however you'd like to. Press save. The one thing in the code that you have the ability to change. If you as the broadcaster would like to interact with your chat bot, if you'd like to say, hey maniac bot, ask it a random question, you're gonna have to go into the code and go to line 36, right here where it says exclude GPT reply add broadcaster. And we're gonna comment that out because I like talking to my bot, so I wanna be able to talk to him. If you don't want to talk to your bot, or if you don't want your bot replying to any of your messages, then leave that line alone. Press save. We're gonna have to go to the commands tab next to enable our setup command, enabled. And then under the GPT call, I set mine up to be at maniac bot. If you would like, you can change this to whatever command you want. Obviously don't use at maniac bot, because nobody's gonna add it in your chat, but you can at your chat bot name and then it kind of makes it look more personable and more like it's having a conversation with a bot vice just throwing a command in your chat. Going back to our actions tab, 
The only other thing we have to adjust is if you would like TTS, you need to go to Chat GPT Answers. Right here on the SpeakerBot Speak sub action, right click and enable it. Once you enable it, you need to type your alias here, whether it's Bruce Banner, I don't know, Superman, whoever you're using in your aliases. You just put their name there as normal and call it good. Save it. Now from the setup, you can either right click and test the trigger, like I always do, or you can go into your chat and type GPT setup. Now we're gonna know that this worked by either trying to talk to our bot or clicking on the variables tab in StreamerBot. We should see five variables. Chat GPT API key, behavior, exclusions, model, and reply probability are all stored in here, which means that we successfully did the setup. And now we can add our bot. Maniac bot. Who's the greatest NFL team? Better say the Packers. Probably the New England Patriots. Wow. Okay. So it's broken. I mean, it works, but that response is <laughs> overall though. That's it. It's that simple. We're done. We're set up. You don't have to do anything else with this setup again. And there you have it, maniacs. Another five minutes of your week <laughs> wasted, but you got a really cool little fun feature to add into your stream. Now everyone's going to walk in and think, Oh my God, this person's the best streamer in the world. We both know that you're not, Aww. neither am I. But that's okay, feels fun. And if nobody's in your chat, at least now you can talk to your chat bot. If you're enjoying the content, please make sure you do hit that like and subscribe button. Please share this video with one of your friends or somebody, maybe they're just an acquaintance that's into streaming and they could get some use out of it. Um, swing on by the Discord if you have any questions or need any help. It's always a, a good time in there with a whole lot of banter and a little bit of help going on. Otherwise, until next time, we'll catch you later, you f***ing maniacs.